Creole tomatoes are the stars in the kitchen this morning. Chef Kev is here making different dishes that would go great on your dinner table this summer. Light stuff, right? Look how, look, look at that. Look how red that is. That is so beautiful. My parents were just in town. They were like, what's the difference? We're, gonna, we're not going to be able to tell. And they were like, oh my gosh, these Creole tomatoes are so good. Yeah, it, it, the soil is so rich that we have here in Louisiana from the river overflowing the banks for so many years. That's why our crops grow so well. Yummy. Especially in Pla Plaquemines Parish. So we're doing a couple of things. I mean, it's going to be really light. So we're going to do one is a salad. Okay. Where we're going to have, I have took English cucumbers, peel them, split them, slice them, cut them in half. Okay. With that, some mozzarella cheese. Which is delicious. We're going to do a little bit of red onion. Okay. And just make a nice salad with the Creole tomatoes, um, a little vinegar, a little olive oil, and a little lemon juice and a little Italian seed, nice and fresh to brighten it and up. It's so healthy. What are you going to use the bacon for? The bacon, we're going to make like, you can make like a pizza or a flatbread. Ooh. We're going to do some using puff pastry. Okay. Where we can lay out sheets of puff pastry. We're going to do some on non bread. It's like little flatbreads. Okay. Or you could use pizza dough. Huh. And we could put different things on it. We can go with the, we're going to, of course, brush it with olive oil. I roasted some garlic. I know that looks That's why too. garlic is kind of tan looking because it's roasted. So we're gonna do some garlic, some tomatoes, and then take your pick. You say you're not a fan of olives. No. But we have different olives we could put on. We have some dried tomatoes, you know? So and lots of cheese. That's what yeah. I want. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you're watching us on WUPL coming up in just a few minutes only on WUPL. How often do you change your kitchen dish towel? You may want to do it more often. We'll give you details of a new study that finds it's a hotbed for germs. That could make you sick. That story coming up. Stay tuned.